the hood with the first coat of Bondo on it. And that's all I've done. I came in here and I put on a, a single layer of Bondo and uh, then uh, hit it with an 80 grit sandpaper on a DEA and uh, got it to this point. As you can see right here, I still have some low spots. So I've got to put another layer of Bondo on here um, and sand it out again. But as you can see, everything else is looking pretty good. I mean, like I said, I only took it down to 80 grit because I knew that there would probably be another coat. But uh, that's what the hood looks like so far. I'm going to get ready to mix up another batch and put it on there. Okay, I'm going to mix up the, uh, the uh, Bondo. Um, pretty easy. Just put a little bit on the uh, whatever you got. Got this old box I'll use. A little bit of hardener, cream hardener. Mix it up. Do it pretty quickly because you don't get a lot of time, especially here in the heat. So be careful. Of it. I don't need a ton of this stuff, so I'm not going to mix up a bunch. And this is a pretty fresh can because this stuff is really kind of gooey. The first batch there was from an older can, and that one was definitely a lot thicker. That probably was a little too much hardener, but we'll have to go with it. We just have to work a little faster. Alright, that looks mixed pretty good. Let's move over to the work. Alright, this stuff is already starting to harden up on me. Well, let's see how that, how that works. All right, the Bondo is dry now. Let's go ahead and uh, sand it down, see what we got. Storms we 
Jason leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I Well, as you might be able to see, I think we're getting pretty close. Um, there's a couple areas, one area right here, another area over here that we'll probably have to uh, to do something with. I'm gonna try to hit that with the DA again and see if I can get that down a little bit. But it looks like we have a little low area right here and maybe one over here. Let me double check that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be just a smidge low. So we'll have to put some more filler there. So we've got just a couple of spots uh, to put some filler to, to get this looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, <clears throat> time for the uh, second round of the Bondo. Just a little bit more to go. Um, just wanted to mention between times I've, I've uh, go ahead and cleaned up these tools. Just a little pro tip here. Um, when you're trying to uh, clean these up, use um, paint thinner. Paint thinner works really good in removing Bondo. So, uh, so you can get your equipment back to the way it was so every time you start cleaning. I'm really not gonna get a new piece of cardboard. I'm just gonna use this. I don't need a lot of Bondo. So I'm just gonna make up a little batch right now. Looks like the plastic filler is hard enough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it with 150. Try to get it pretty close to where I wanna see it. And then we'll take it on to the next steps. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, to the sun and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highway all right i think it's looking pretty decent um i don't see anything obvious right now that's a, a big problem uh, so, let me look at it for a minute, figure out what my next steps are going to be, and then uh, get back with you. Okay, and I have just finished up uh, putting the final sanding on the hood. Um, pretty happy with the way that it looks. Uh, I have this chrome strip taped off here because... It just looks like more of a pain in the ass to uh, to try to take off than it's worth. So I'll just cover it up with some tape. Should be fine. Um, but the hood is looking pretty decent. I've wiped it down. I just need to go ahead and uh, get the paint ready, get the gun ready, and come out here and lay down the uh, primer. So let me get that done and bring you back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start spraying the primer on. And on, and on we'll go. See the 
coat on um, I wasn't real happy with the uh, my compressor um, it was a small it's a smaller compressor so I switched it out for my larger compressor and I'm hoping that I get a better result because I was having to wait a lot on the other compressor and I just it wasn't making the job any easier so uh, for the second coat I'm going with my bigger compressor so let's see how it goes side of the hood done now so I'm going to move over to the back side of the hood and uh, put a couple of coats of primer on it. So let's get started. <laughs> And I got the first coat done, so I'm going to be moving into the second coat now, so let's get started.
the paintings done or at least the primers done and now I just have a couple of touch-up spots that I want to do it wasn't really clear to me at the time that I had a low spot here um, I guess I just don't have a trained enough eye to be able to see it but I did go back and look at some old photos and this right here is actually bare metal so that was a little high. It should have been knocked down with the hammer or something uh, when I before I started body work. But um, I'm not sure how good of an idea that would be now since I already have some body work on here. I mean, I can try to. I haven't decided yet. But the other way to do it is to put some filler in down here and a little up here, maybe just to kind of blend this all together again. So. That's what I'm looking at, and just some little little things that, little imperfections that could be, you know, done a little better. I see a little thing here, and maybe some touch up around this corner. But outside of that, uh, I think it's looking, you know, fairly decent. Um, yeah. So the the paint jobs, uh, or at least the primers done, everything's looking fairly decent. I don't really see anything else. Um, hopefully if there is something else it'll present itself because right now I certainly don't see it so um, Yeah, so let me um, Maybe I'll take a hammer and take a test see if I can flatten that down a little bit first so, We'll check well, I'm not knowing whether or not this makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna go ahead and try it I won't know if I don't try to just push that down a little bit. turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out. So, I need to sand it down smooth again, but let's take a look. Now, some of you may have been wondering why I didn't come after here with the dolly under here. There's an inner structure here that won't allow you to get a dolly behind it, so I just had to hit it from the top and hopefully don't hit it down too far because I won't be able to bring it back up again. All right, let's sand it smooth. All right, well, I don't think that's too bad. Let me blow it off. Nothing too terrible here. That's a little low spot, which is okay. That's much easier to fill in. Now if I can just get a nice coat on there, and hopefully, you know, at the end, we'll have a decent outcome here. Let me get the Bondo ready. get enough time it's already hardened up well that first layer of bondos now on here and has dried and looks okay um, so I'm gonna go ahead I did put a little over here too I don't know if it'll make much difference but I got to sand a couple of spots and uh, like I said I'll I'll sand it here and uh, see what it looks like 
All right, let's start the sanding. take a look well it feels good um, yeah I think that's gonna blend good with the rest of the hood and hopefully that little area is now just disappeared so I got a couple of little things to do here I missed a couple of little things here I need to touch with the sander but outside of that, I think I'm good. And then I'll probably go over this hood with probably like a 400 grit and knock down any little rough spots that I feel. So, uh, yeah. After I get it um, knocked down, then, well, I uh, maybe I'll just finish this up first and then paint this little area and then knock down the whole hood for uh, the uh, start and the final coats. So, all right, cool. Let's get to work. And I've just finished spraying uh, two coats of paint on the uh, hood right here where I had that repair. So I didn't film showing me actually doing with it. I still had the, the paint gun and everything here. But uh, yeah, it came out good. I'm pretty happy with the look. Um, zoom out here. Now, both sides uh, look the same. And uh, we should be good to go. So, the next steps are uh, sanding this down. Um, probably around a 400 grit or so. And then uh, spraying on the, uh, the first part of the two-part uh, paint system, which is the uh, jet black, followed by the... Uh, the clear coat but uh, jet blacks next so I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do that okay and I just got done sanding the hood I did both sides but I'm going to um, paint the inside first so I can do all the work on the inside one and then I can flip it over it'll be sitting on its the top side that you'll see when the, when the car is going down the road so I don't want that side getting re-scratched up again or anything so I'll paint it last so I'm all ready to uh, shoot the uh, the paint on the jet black so let's go ahead and get started First coat is now on. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I cut down on the size of the fan that I was using, and that made a huge difference. So it's not quite as wide. It's more concentrated. Puts down more paint, and uh, definitely looks like the way to go. So not bad for the first coat. I think it's looking pretty decent, and uh, still a few light spots that you can see coming through but um but it's only first coat and i didn't want to get too thick so there it is looking pretty decent um yeah so uh let me get set up and we'll start on the second coat all right i'm going to start that second coat
Well, I'm ready to start the painting of the top side here. It's been sanded down. Everything is nice and smooth. I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. And I was pretty happy with the, the underside, how much better I was able to spray twofold. You know, I talked about the uh, pressure before, uh, how much pressure I was shooting. And I generally try to keep it in that green zone there, between 20 and 30 pounds. And I do that with the help of this valve right here, because I don't really have, I'm really not using a pressure regulator on my pressure or on my uh, compressor, just because it's, it's not easy to use and it's not always accurate. So I'd rather do it right here at the gun, right where I need the uh, pressure regulated. So that's working well. And the other major thing that I've done is really taking a look at the um, fan control on the uh, on the gun so I'd say about 630 is about fully off seeing no fan which means sprays like a paint gun kind of a, like a round dot and then I go to about 330 4 o'clock you can see this arrow maybe and uh, that is where I'm going right now so that's about a quarter of a turn off of dead shut all the way locked down so that seems to be a lot better spray pattern than a little wider open which gives me a lot of, of overspray so this really cuts down on the overspray but gives me a decent spray pattern at the same time so those are the new things that I'm trying and I'm pretty happy with so uh, let me get set up and we'll shoot the uh, first coat on here all right first coat time And here's what it looks like after the first um, coat. So, you know, some patchy areas where you don't get, you know, 100% covered. A couple of bands in here. Some areas up here. But uh, that's what the first coat's about. You're not going to get uh, perfect results on it. So uh, I'm almost ready for the second coat. It's a little breezy here today. I see some things landing on the hood I'm gonna have to knock off. And uh, that's that. And then we have the pieces of the hood here. Um, there's uh, four pieces that uh, supplement the hood trim. Um, part of them are all painted black. These two over here are supposed to be all both black. These ones are black in the center with chrome tops. So you paint these and then you come back with like a piece of steel wool and knock off the uh, paint off the chrome. So, and then all those pieces fit in right here. So you got the one grill here, the two end pieces that you sand off the tops with uh, steel wool. And then that third piece kind of like finishes off this top and bridges between the main hood and this piece that sits in here. So um, then, of course, you got the uh, trim pieces. So outside of that, the ones that go on the front and then the one in the back here, which just has some tape over to keep it looking OK. So there you go. Let's get ready for the second coat.
This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire The second coat is dried now and um, I'm looking at it and there's some pieces of stuff that are blown off the tree here but uh, I did notice I had a run right down here um, it's not a hundred percent the way that I want it I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, Obviously sand that little run down up front and then maybe hit this with a third coat because I just kind of feel like I need a little a little more paint on here. I put quite a bit already. Um, just on here, this is a quart of paint. So just on this side of the hood, you're looking at a, a good quart of paint or so. So I'm gonna hit it again and well, I'm gonna sand it a little bit, um, take off any high spots or any imperfections that I see. I think I got another imperfection down here. So I wanna, I wanna hit those, and then um, you know, uh, shoot another coat on, and then it'll be ready. I feel it's looking pretty good. You know, I, I can't complain. I mean. Um, pretty happy so far you know minus the one run but uh, on a panel this size that's not too bad so um, yeah so uh, let's uh, move on to that step I've got it all set up here to go ahead and start the sanding and what I have over here is 600 grit sandpaper and a couple of blocks and I'm just out here to try to, to fix a couple of areas that I've seen. One is this little bit of a run here, a little bit of a rough patch. Um, I saw a couple of more. Um, yeah, I'm not sure it's going to come in very well, but one right there. And there's probably some scattered ones that I'll probably hit. I don't know if I'll do the whole hood. We'll just see how it goes when I do this. So let me get you set up in the uh, tripod and we'll get the sanding done. And then we'll put on the final layer of paint over top of this because I did see some banding here I was spraying it like this back and forth and I can see a little bit of striping here so I think when I go to paint this time I'm probably going to go the opposite way kind of crisscross it so um, that's the plan for the third coat so let's go ahead and get this ready What I was able to get accomplished was uh, sanding this down and then wiping it off. And it's looking pretty good. I did have one boo-boo right here. I sanded through to the primer in just one spot. So, you know, I guess it's just unavoidable sometimes. Um, but the paint is smooth where you see, you know, you see the color variations here. So the lighter spot are the high places and the, um, the darker spots are the lower spaces. Um, hopefully the next coat kind of, you know, fills some of that in and it's not, uh, as pronounced. Um, you can definitely feel it when you're sanding though. And the primary problem for me is, you know, being outside is that it always seems to be breezy by the ocean here. And no matter when I paint, 
there's always a breeze. And the breeze is not your friend when you're trying to put down paint. But, you know, it is what it is, so I have to live with it. So that's how come I believe that I run into this problem. So uh, I got the paint mixed. It's ready to go on. Uh, I'll put you up in the tripod and we'll start spraying. Well, the paint is dried and everything is looking, you know, pretty decent. There are some specks on it. The wind's blowing and I noticed pollen falling out of the uh, tree afterwards. But, you know, what are you going to do? There is some stuff that just, that's what happens when you paint outside. Stuff just lands on it. Fortunately, the paint's dry now. So even though there's stuff laying on it, I haven't seen anything that's embedded in the paint. So that's that's really good and the paint looks decent um, got to remember this is a two-stage paint so this isn't the final look this is just the way the paint looks when the clear coat goes on then it really gets bright and shiny so um, yeah so there is what we have so far so next step is to get ready for um, clear coat so I'll bring you back when it's time for that well unfortunately the day that I painted it, that's this night, that night of the painting, uh, we got a bad storm that came through, which forced me to bring the hood inside when it wasn't all the way set up. So the way that I ended up putting the hood on, I put this blue cover on, as you can see, and then leaned it against the wall and the spot where it was taking the weight of the hood, kind of leaning against it, kind of rubbed or imprinted the uh, pattern of the tarp on it. So 
yeah that gives me a little area that I'm gonna have to work on so what I plan on doing is taking like a thousand grit sandpaper here and um, just smoothing it out and then I'm gonna have to come out here with the gun and um, uh, you know just touch up that little area right there I'll finish looking at the rest of the hood but I really didn't see anything on here that uh, made me uh, too concerned um, I haven't decided whether or not I'll do any additional um, sanding on it um, prior to clearing it but uh, we shall see um, I wish that didn't happen but that's that's life so anyways that's the update and now it's on to sanding that all right well that was a really quick sanding I just hit that really really quickly with a thousand grit sandpaper down there and um, boy is that smooth and just makes the hood feel unsmooth now so now I'm gonna have to debate whether or not I want to go ahead and do the entire hood like that um, I do like the way that that feels it's, it's it's okay on the hood but it doesn't slide over like that it's not super huh. so that gives me something to think about so um, while I think about that I'll come back and let you know what I did well, I've made up my mind. I've decided to go ahead and wet sand the hood. I think it's the best way to try to ensure the best possible clear coat application that I that I can. So I've got a pack of a uh, thousand grit dry wet sandpaper and I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this hood. Actually, I, I've just started, so let me turn it around and uh, you can take a look. Well, the first sanding is done. Um, I'm looking at it and uh, it looks still a little wet from wiping it off. Um, you can still see some minor peaks and valleys in the paint, but you don't feel them. So that is good. Um, I guess what I'm probably going to do is um, hit this again real lightly you know it's hard to tell sometimes when your sandpaper is getting a little too and I see a couple areas where I, I, I could hit it better and, but I can tell you that the paint feels good there was one area here that I saw that you know <sighs> actually there's two I don't know how well they're gonna show up but right here is a little scratch not sure what happened there um, I don't know if it was something that was in the on the sandpaper on the hood and kind of got pushed in there or whether it was from something else there's another area so there is two areas that had those hairline those scratches on it where the paint came off um, I guess I'm gonna have to touch those up I'll have to think about exactly how I want to do it um, but yeah um, that did happen uh, at some point I just don't know when um, but other than that I think it's looking pretty decent I can um, I was looking at it and seeing a little bit of reflection in it even with the uh, um, with the sanding of it so I thought hopefully that's a good sign <laughs> um, so yeah so I guess on to the second sanding but first I'll fix those couple of paint problems and then on to the second sand. So there you go. Well, I'm ready to go ahead and um, start the little touch ups that I want to do. So, what I got out here is, you know, a quart of uh, the jet black paint and a very, very small tipped, fine tipped uh, paintbrush. Um, fortunately, I my wife likes to do intricate painting, so, you know, she had one of these brushes that was available to me, so I'm going to try it. And then I'm going to try to, you know, fill in 
some of these areas that I talked about earlier. So, not that. That's a bug. But let's see. Boy, they're really hard to find sometimes. I think one is here. So, I don't know how well it's going to come out, but, you know, there's a little thing there. There's a little tiny area, you know, right here and another one, um, like right, right there. So, I mean, they're very, very tiny and there's only like two or three of them, but I'm going to try to go ahead and, and hit them because if you stand back, you know, at least this far, I can see those couple of little areas, little, little fine pieces of white pinholes on the thing so I'm gonna try to cover those in and then of course come back for a second sanding and um, yeah and we'll see where we're at um, other than that it looks pretty decent it feels really smooth um, you know around here the wind is always blowing off the ocean so it's hard to get anything to lay down a hundred percent smooth just because I have to do this outside um, but Let's go ahead and get set up for the paint. And since this hood is very warm sitting out here partially in the sun and it's black that heat's transferring really quickly through this metal and I'm, I'm, this paint is almost drying as fast as you put it on it so yeah but uh, just some very minor things I'm trying to just touch up so let's let it dry and then I can move on to you know doing like a final touch-up sanding on here okay. well getting ready to uh, do that final sanding the paint's dried this is sitting outside now so it's uh, been uh, hit by some birds it looks like um, but uh, everything looks okay I'm getting ready for the final touches so that I can uh, uh, go ahead and spray on the clear so I need to clean the hood up do some final sanding and then get ready to shoot to clear. So let's get ready. Let's let it uh, dry off and then I'll spray it off and then we'll see where we're at. All right, and uh, I got the hood done. I think it's good enough to, uh, to go ahead and shoot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load the gun up and come out and put down a couple of coats at least a couple of coats of uh of clear if i have enough i'll do three i got about almost two quarts so i should have plenty so let's go ahead and do it all right i'm gonna go ahead and shoot that first coat
Let's let it dry and come back and shoot the second coat. For uh, coat number two of the clear coat. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways. And on That's it for coat number two. Let's let it dry and come back. Okay, first up is the accessories that go on the hood. Um, they're looking pretty decent. Remember that I have to clean off the tops here, uh, the chrome. There's chrome underneath there. and uh, But I needed to paint and get it to match the rest of the hood. So, you know, there's <laughs> no good way of doing that. Uh, here's the last two pieces that go on the back of the hood there uh, next to the where the cow kind of look is kind of like a cow induction kind of look there um, anyways that goes on the back those are all done and then here is the hood um, this is two coats of of um, clear coat glossy clear coat from Duplicolor um, it's dry now of course it's not really hard um, it takes several days for this to harden up before you really want to do anything with it. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's looking pretty decent. Of course, the next step would be to cut and buff it. Usually go over it with like a 1500 grit sandpaper and then, um, then hit it with a rubbing compound. Uh, the Meguiar's compounds that I've used in the past with a buffer and then finally like a uh, buffing compound after that to bring to bring out the real shine in it but it's looking pretty decent um, yeah you know I'm not making a show quality car I just want it to be an acceptable looking decent driver and uh, you know I think I accomplished that mission it's been a lot of steps. This isn't the easiest projects in the world to do, um, but it's, it's worth it. You know, this has been longer than I anticipated just because of the problems that I ran in into the hood here. And I'll link to uh, some of the issues that I, that I had to go with to finish this hood to get it to this point where I could actually paint it and then, you know, hit it with the clear so without any doing any buffing and everything i i think the paint looks pretty decent um i have you know a few more steps to do i'll probably end this video and uh at least i've gotten you to this point and then uh, the next video will be you know the cut and buff on here and then finally the install of the hood uh uh, to you know to the car where the two front fenders have been done and the rear end or the front end's been done Then it's on to the rear end of the car to put on a new bumper and a couple other things then and uh, Hopefully she'll be on the road here real quick, but this is like the biggest one of the biggest projects is all this All this body work to get to this point. So anyways um, 
please uh, like and subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys sticking through me through these projects. And I know you've got your own projects that you gotta focus on. Maybe this gives you a little bit of help in you know tackling your projects. But uh, I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, ciao.